Welcome back to the Cyber Show, brought to you by Thread Advice. I'm Elizabeth, and this is my robot friend Ben. Yes, and it's our Halloween episode. In case you haven't noticed, so today on the show we have scary cyber stories from this week, followed by spooky malware you'll want to avoid. Then cyber's no joke from Mandy, and more great stuff. So stick around if you dare. For our first scary story. Imagine trick-or-treating and there's no candy. That's what almost happened with Ferrera Candy Company, one of the largest candy corn manufacturers. And many other of our favorite candies such as Nerds, Laffy Taffy, and Sweet Tarts was hacked earlier this month. They noticed when their computers were being encrypted and the hackers later demanded to pay a ransom the company hired outside experts to help restore their systems and they have now resumed production. Luckily, they sent out their candy back in August, so there will be no candy shortage this year. So enjoy your candy corn. A recent investigation into police documents reveals a chilling cyber story. This is how it goes. In early 2020, a bank manager and the United Arab Emirates received a call from a man whose voice he recognized, a director at a company with whom he'd spoken before. The director had good news, his company was about to make an acquisition, so he needed the bank to authorize some transfers to the tune of $35 million. A lawyer had been hired to coordinate the procedures and the bank manager could see in his inbox emails from the director and the lawyer confirming what money needed to move where. So the bank manager, believing everything appeared legit, began making the transfers. There was just one major problem. The voice on the other end of the phone that he recognized wasn't the company director. It was an AI deep fake voice clone. And he had been duped as part of an elaborate $35 million bank heist, which sent the stolen money to bank accounts all across the globe. This is only the second known case of fraudsters allegedly using voice shaping technology to carry out a heist but this is at a much bigger scale than the last attempt, which was about $240,000 in 2019. But as deep fake technology gets more prevalent, I think this particularly creepy strategy is something we're likely to see a lot more of in the future. For our last scary story, hackers went trick-or-treating this year. Security researchers were stopped dead in their tracks as a new ransomware variant is haunting corporations worldwide. The malware Yang Lu Wang is named after an encrypted file extension it uses to infiltrate systems. Legend has it that Yang Lu Wang is a Chinese god from the dead. If that doesn't freak you out about ransomware, I don't know what will. And that concludes our scary cyber stories this week. Stay tuned for more good stuff. And now for something a little different. I present to you six types of spooky malware you want to watch out for. I am a virus. The terms virus and malware are often used interchangeably. However, we are not the same thing. Viruses can be a type of malware, but not all malware are viruses. Just like a biological virus, I need a host program. An action is required by a user in order for me to transfer from one system to another. I attach to files in your computer and copy myself so that I can corrupt and destroy your data. Ever felt like you're being tracked? I'm a keylogger, a program which tracks and records every keystroke you make on your device. This allows me to gain illegal and unwanted access to passwords and any other information that I want. I can stalk your device to steal bank information, credit card numbers, account logins, and more. So keep typing. Congratulations, click here to claim your prize. I'm Adware, I mislead you into downloading free computer programs without realizing I'm along for the ride. Once installed, I display ads on your screen. I exist to make money. The more ads you watch, the more money my third party friends make. I am ransomware. I deny access to your computer or computer systems and lock you out of everything completely, including all users on the system. I require a monetary payment to unlock your data or system, usually in the form of a cryptocurrency such as Bitcoin. 
Even after payment, there is no guarantee that I will restore your data or system. I am a Trojan horse. I disguise myself as legitimate software to go undetected for long periods of time. I'm not only found in email attachments, but also downloadable programs. Common examples are fake antivirus, DDoS Trojans, and SMS Trojans. I aim to delete, copy, and modify data while also disrupting the performance of your computer and your network. I am spyware. I send your personal information and data from your device to a third party without you ever knowing. My surveillance activity leaves you open to data breaches and misuse of your private information. I infiltrate through downloads and file attachments, and my damage ranges from a minor inconvenience to substantial data and financial loss. Hey there! Aren't you glad it's finally fall? You ought to know the importance of protecting your data. Don't leave cybersecurity behind and fall for scams. Cyber attacks will haunt your network. <clears throat> and a breach will make you want to hollow scream. So pumpkin spice up your cybersecurity. Because hackers don't go home for the holidays. Get witch it and don't get spooked by cyber attacks. You know who to call. A brand new government report has shown us that ransomware gangs have targeted the U.S. water supply multiple times this year, putting people's lives at risk. Uh, many of these attacks were previously unknown to the public. There were attacks in Nevada, Maine, California, and Florida. And in 2020 and 2019, there were attacks in New Jersey and Kansas. So this is obviously becoming a more prevalent kind of attack. Um, usually these attacks involve some kind of spear phishing coupled with malware. And what happens is if these IT systems are hijacked, an attacker can drive up things like the sodium hydroxide level to effectively poison the water supply. That is some pretty scary stuff. But that's all we've got this week. Have a happy and cyber safe Halloween.